Hi, this is Keith again with the Brookie Supplier. This is part two of our series with it Purify. And this time we're going to really put the Brookie to the test and try and purify out this duck pond water to the left. This is duck pond water that's been here for about probably five days we've left it because we wanted to get it really funky um, before we, we try and purify it. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use a t-shirt and we're going to then fill up the top chamber and let it filter down and then we're going to see if we can drink the water and survive afterwards which I think I'm pretty confident that we will be able to do. Just sticking the t-shirt on as a bit of a pre-filter to remove some of the mud that's already in there. So as you can see, it's pretty funky water. Um, the ducks aren't exactly... It's the, it's the water that the ducks are getting clean with. So you can imagine them... Imagine how much rubbish there is. So we'll let this filter through and then we'll see how, how it does. We'll check back in a bit. So the Berkey purifier has been running for a while now and as you can see it's a lot slower with the more heavily contaminated water but we've got enough to pull a glass of water off so we'll give it a try. So I'm sure you can instantly see the, the difference in, in the water. There's a there's a bit of a, a light drizzle on, so that's why the, you might see some some rain on the outside of the glass, but it should be clear that it's a lot clearer afterwards than, than it was before. Um, there's no real smell off it now. And it tastes pretty clean. There's no no uh, no strong taste to it or anything. It just tastes like good clean water. So it goes to show you just if you're in an emergency situation or you're out ca camping or hiking that you could take pretty much any source of water and get some purified water for yourself. Um, so join us next time for the next episode in Will It Purify? See you later.